this is Ben. Ben is just like any other young, ambitious, slightly ADHD college student. And just like any other student, Ben's first thing on entering college was getting an account on Facebook.com. Someone comes up to me and says, have you heard about Facebook? And I'm kind of like, Facebook? You know, what? what's that all about? At first it was harmless, a hobby almost. Then it became an obsession. All of a sudden I started noticing that he just started speaking very differently. He used weird language. OMG Enrique, what's going on here? WTF, don't you, don't you read my lips what I'm saying? He just stopped talking to me. We live in the same dorm room, but we really don't speak to each other anymore. And it, he thinks he's a big man on campus because he has 839 friends. Really, Ben? I mean, 839 friends on Facebook. That was hot shit. He apparently began adding random people to his friends list. I met him at a Star Wars convention. He uh, ended up doing a search on me and he found me and requested that I was his friend. A, a week later, he, he said we were dating. His behavior began to stoop to an all-time low. He practically began stalking people. Angela? He's a stalker. He's a stalker, okay? I'm gonna marry her. On those rare occasions when we do talk, it's always about Facebook. Ben finally sought professional help. I found out I had a problem. <laughs> Ben's recovery would be long and difficult. The doctor specifically told me that I really needed to get outdoors a lot more and out into that, the sun, the sun. I needed to get out and see the sun. Ben was made to take only notes in class by hand. No laptop, meaning no Facebook. But I had to do this for, for my friends, for Enrique, and of course, above all things, my fiance. We're not dating. I don't like you. I don't know you. I had Ben keep a journal, you know, something he could keep his thoughts in, you know, well away from Facebook. Here is an excerpt. Day 17. I'm losing my self-restraint. I've been binge eating Wendy's Junior Bacon Cheeseburgers and Chocolate Frosties for the past three days. I want desperately to update my outdated profile picture and write on Angela's wall just to tell her I love her and I miss her. For God's sake, our five-day anniversary is tomorrow. Oh God, oh God, help me. End quote. Five months, one blue moon, three weeks, two days, four hours, seven minutes, and 29 seconds later, Ben seemed on the road to recovery. Got my grades up, I'm attending class, I'm taking notes, making real friends, you know, like person to person talking. Every day when I come back from class, I, I check how much time he's spending on the internet, and it's, it's a tough, tough process, but he's showing a lot of progress, and I'm, I'm very proud of Ben. I wish there was some way I could give back to the community for the pain and harm I've caused. Well, now Ben can, seeing as he now owes 839 hours of community service for fraud, an hour for every friend on his Facebook. He filed false information on some financial aid applications and scholarships. There are sections where you write about what sort of leadership positions that you've been awarded or held. Leadership roles included president of the OMG I Feel So Bad for Karen group, and the administrator of the Hot Latina Sisters group. Apparently the officials weren't aware that these were Facebook groups. And he was awarded the scholarship money, and he spent it. He bought me a diamond ring. Por qué, Ben? Why? Why did you do it, Ben? Yo pensé que lo podías hacer, Ben. Lo ibas a hacer. Ben now travels to various schools lecturing on the dangers and pitfalls of Facebook, MySpace, and other internet community obsessions. Some words of wisdom. Facebook is a tool, and if you use it properly, it can do many things for you. It fucking ruined my life. Whether Ben will benefit from his present situation, we'll only know in time. For now, I G2G, LOL, C U L at sign TR, Holmes. <laughs>